Congratulations, gentlemen. You've both made it to the final round, which means you're both one step closer to the title of Forged and Fire champion and that check for 10 grand. When you came to our forge, you used our tools and equipment. Now we're sending you back to your home forge to forge an iconic blade from history. Are you ready to see what that weapon is? Hell yeah. All right. I'm ready. The Halati. Ooh. The Halati was a fearsome double-bladed dagger created in ancient India. The two recurved blades would meet at a straight handle and could be used for slashing or stabbing. Some Halatis even featured a third blade running out of the handguard. Though the Halati might seem like something out of a fantasy video game, it actually dates back to the mid-5th century and was wielded by the Rajput, a major Hindu clan known for their bravery and ferocity in battle. Your final challenge is to forge a Halati. It must be an effective working version of that weapon. You will have five days at your home forge to accomplish this. Additionally, each blade must have a counter recurve and a centered unguarded handle. At the end of five days, you will return and present your Halatis to our panel of expert judges. Good luck, bladesmiths. We'll see you in five days. Good luck, Steve. feeling amazing. I made it to the finals, and I get to make a really awesome weapon. A Halide, or a Halidai, or something like that. <laughs> Ray has more experience than me, and I kind of feel like it's old school versus new school. Got my blade the length I want to. Now I'm moving on to the handle. Every time I hit it on one side, the other side bends a little bit, so it's a challenge to keep everything in line. Oh, yeah. It's the end of day one, and I feel like I'm a step ahead of the game. I only expected to get forging done today, but I got a little grinding in there, too. The plan for today is to get the Damascus ready and hopefully get a couple welds in on it. We're going to cut up a bunch of steel here. I use a 15-piece billet. I've never made a halati, and I've never made a double-ended knife, either. To me, it's a challenge. Challenge is good. Even though I've got like 37 years experience, it's not gonna be easy. I'm gonna go for like 120 layers. It'll give me a bold pattern. I think it'll look really nice. It's day two. I've got pretty much all the grinding done. Today, I wanna get to the heat treating. That's the make it or break it part of the knife. This is my first time having this much riding on the quench. I hope nothing goes wrong, because if it does, I'll have to restart, and that would really suck. It survived. Feeling good. Now I just got to do the same thing on the other side. We're ready to start day three. I wish I was a little farther ahead, but everything is times two. So whatever I do to one blade, it has to be exactly like the other blade. And that can be a challenge in itself. So I put the first blade in a jig, and I can't get it to bend. So I said, I'm going to do it the old school way and go back to the anvil. So it's just going to be a guess. Whenever you're dealing with Damascus, it's a risky business. It doesn't always turn out right. Nobody makes perfect Damascus every time they make it. It's about a wicked looking weapon, I'll tell you what. It's day four, and pretty much all I got left to do is glue on the handle, polish that up. Ray is probably doing Damascus with his blade, so I'm trying to be on the same level. I'm going to hand sand. I'm going to add file work on both sides of the handle, I'm doing like the really fine detail stuff. I'm going for like a vine pattern on the file work, just to give it an elegant design, a little something extra. I'm kind of just going to free ball it on this one. It's just about ready to glue. As soon as I start mixing the epoxy, time starts going down. I only got five minutes to get everything where I want it to be because of the epoxy. This is the first bump in the road I run into, and I, I feel a time crunch. OK. I finally get it together. The glue is all set up, and looks like there's no gaps. I finished the weapon a day early. There was always that thought in the back of my head where I'm going against the best, but age definitely doesn't limit your skill. I'm very proud of this weapon. 
Last day, it's crunch time. Time to finish it up. The heat tree went really well yesterday, and uh, the blades look good. First thing I'm going to do today is sharpen the blades up before I assemble them onto the handle. I think my uh, skill set as a master smith really shows up. You know, I came here to prove that, that I could compete at a really high level, and I think that I did that. The only thing that could stop it is if uh, my competitor built something better than I did. I think it's ready to go. Stephen, Ray, welcome back to the forge. You've had five days at your home forges to work on your halates. Now it's time to see how they hold up in our weapons test. But first, Ray, tell us a little bit about your weapon. Well, I made my halati uh, as close as I could to the original type of weapon. And uh, I made the blades out of Damascus, and uh, I think it'll do well. Great. Stephen, tell us about yours. I forged mine out of 1095 high carbon steel and put my own kind of twist on it from what stuff I saw on the internet. All right, gentlemen, your weapons will now be put through a series of three tests. Up first is the sharpness test. Doug? Bladesmiths, the Haladi was a weapon used by the Rajput warriors. It was designed to have a blade on both sides of the handle, and they were known to be very sharp. To see how sharp your weapons are, I will take your blade and deliver multiple cuts and stabs to this canvas bag. Ray, you're up first. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm really proud of this knife. I mean, it turned out really well. The curvature on the blade is a recurve. So what happens is the blade starts in one direction and comes back in the other direction, which gives it a lot of character. OK, Ray. I like the design of your blade. It feels good in the hand. You got that ovoid shape for the handle. And I like also how it flares over there so it stops for the thrust. I love your recurve and Damascus pattern that you have on both ends of your blade. It's very dramatic, and it looks good. The belly of your blade slashed nicely on the canvas, and it allowed for a good thrust. And this blade will cut. Good job. Thank you. Steven, you're up next. You ready? Hell yeah. Let's do this. Going up against a master bladesmith with 30 years experience is definitely a little nerve wracking for me, but I'm pretty sure I got everything executed perfectly on it. Well, Steven, we have a big problem here. What's the problem? We specifically asked for a recurve on each blade. These blades are not recurved. They're simply curved. We put that specifically on our parameters so that both blades are equal and fair in all the tests that we do. Your blade does not have that S-shaped recurve that we're looking for. Because you don't have that S-shaped recurve that we needed for the parameters, we cannot move on to test your blade. Well, Stephen. The devil's in the details. The blade parameters were very specific. We asked for counter recurve blades on your halati. You didn't deliver that. And therefore, since your weapon cannot be tested fairly and evenly, I must ask you to please leave the forge. I'm feeling a little bummed that I put in all that hard work and I didn't even get to test it. I still feel really proud of my work. It's just I failed to see the one small detail and that led me to losing. I learned I got to follow the instructions a little better. Ray, congratulations. You are the Forge and Fire champion and will be receiving a check for $10,000. Good job. Thank you. It's a good looking weapon, sir. Thank you. I love your Damascus pattern. Really, really nice recurve with beautiful shape. How do you feel right now? Feeling really good. Being a Forge and Fire champion, it's it's really nice, especially at my age. I felt a lot better about it if it, you know, if they could have did the cutting contest and everything with his blade also. But I just sold a knife for ten thousand bucks. That's the best part. 